What's going on everyone? It's Joe the Lawnware back with another video. Today's a awesome video. Today is a good news video day because Thirsty Thursdays save my lawn. So let's get started. So it's actually 4th of July weekend here in New Jersey and I hope everyone has a happy and safe 4th of July. If this video comes out after 4th of July, I hope everyone had a good time. But like I said, Thirsty Thursdays save my lawn. And what I mean by that is the Grass Factor channel. The Grass Factor channel, if you don't know, they have a weekly call and show. Sometimes they'll have YouTube people on or people in the industry and they'll talk to them. But now what they've been doing is having live shows. So I'm actually part of their patron for their page. They have a weekly podcast as well. It's called Burn and Return where they highlight different headlines in the news about the turf grass industry and everything you can think of when it comes to the green industry. It's a really cool podcast. I, I suggest you guys go check it out. But when you're actually a patron, you become part of their Discord so you could ask them questions and things like that. So I was able to reach out to Ryan DeMay. I'm pretty friendly with Ryan on the show. I was able to send him some pictures and he said call into the live in show uh, and we'll talk about the problem in your yard. So I was able to call into the show and this is what I told them about what happened to my yard. Let's talk about when, what kind of conditions you had at the onset of these, uh, these lesions and these uh, signs showing up out there in your lawn weather conditions, all that kind of stuff. So, I, I, I mean, it's hard to believe, but from what I've talked to people, we're apparently, we've seen more rainfall than we've, seen, than we've had in, in recent uh, years in the month of May. And I, I, I just, I, I always do this every year. I think I just tend to overwater. And we're, we're, what we're seeing, like a mixture of temps, like it's been hot, it's been cool. It's not been a consistent heat yet. Um, and then just this past week, I, you know, I leave in the morning every day to go to work. And today I just really, I really noticed it in the lawn today. And um, I don't know. I just, it's just, I, I mean, like I said, we've seen more rainfall than we normally have. And I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person I think I overwater because I feel like when we do get rains, it's not enough rain like i do have a rain gauge and i keep track but i don't know i i think I, don't, I think i just need to change that mindset of watering and just water when the lawn really needs it and and not just keep my schedule that i'm i, I usually only i only water three days a week I, it's not like i'm watering every day and it's usually like a monday wednesday friday kind of thing in the early morning it's usually it's usually done by sunrise and I don't know. Um, I'm just I'm just worried because I just don't want to. I don't want what happened to me last year. So I'm hoping if, what if happened, I can get what happened last year my stuff. Oh, well, send, well, send the picture to me. I, I think I sent yeah I think I sent Lushy the pictures uh, from what happened yeah, last year. Did. Oh, and it's 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 Sounds the weirdest intense. thing because it's right around the same time as last year when the lawn kind of like was spotted in certain areas and there was some either some kind of fungus or some kind of either something in the lawn that kind of just took it apart but um yeah so i'm just like hoping that i can get some kind of fungicide down soon enough where i can con can control it um because obviously the granular fungicide didn't really do shit so <laughs> oh, we, well, we knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. All right. So as you can see, I have an overwatering problem. And yes, that is how I say water. That's how we speak here in the uh, Philly area. Uh, it's not water. It's water. I know a lot of people say that, but <laughs> that you sound you say water wrong. But that's how we say it. But like I said, I have an overwatering problem, and I gotta, I just gotta dial it back and. We talked about it a little bit after I called, uh, after I told them what happened in my lawn, uh, but I want to skip that part for now, but because that'll be another uh, video later on. But like I said, I, I'm just one of those people that I feel like if it rains and it doesn't rain a lot, it's not enough for the grass. So I'll continue the water of the lawn, and obviously, it's actually harming the lawn. And I think that's what I did with this fungus that developed in my lawn. And again, I used a granular. 
I'll show you here in a second what I use as the granular and they didn't they really suggested not to use the granular when I called in a couple weeks before this and they more wanted me to spray and I really didn't want to spray I think granular is just easy you throw it in a spreader spread it out water it in kind of thing but it kind of kicked me in the butt there as you can see from those pictures the lawn it was really bad from a distance though when you're looking at the lawn from a distance I you could really not really notice it honestly it looks okay but when you really got to get down in the lawn look at your lawn I leave for work every morning I walk right out my front door right here I come down my driveway and into my truck and you some, just get down on the grass sometimes and look and see what's going on and th that's what I did that morning I got down in the grass and I noticed those leaf blades you know starting to get those leaf spots and that's when I knew I had a problem so here is the bag of the granular fungicide that I talked about in the clip and what happened this is the Headway G it does have azoxystrobin in it and propozonical I, mean, I know I'm gonna say it wrong Pro propoconazole there we go it does have those two main ingredients in there that I sprayed down, but like they said a couple of weeks ago, before I called in this show, they said don't use the granular. They'd rather see me use a spray, and what do you know, I got the fungus in my yard, and I had a spray anyway. So I did order this from DoMyOwn.com. I've ordered from there a couple times now. Their shipping is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them, but it's very convenient to go on their website and plug in what you need and get it shipped to your house if you can't find it in your area. Most of the time you can't find this kind of stuff in your area, uh, so you need it to get shipped to your house. But do my own, real quick shipping, great customer service. So in the next clip here, we actually talk about what I should throw down and what I should spray. This time I will be spraying the fungicide. So again, same ingredients as in that Headway G. We're gonna be spraying them though at this time. We're gonna be spraying them at a higher rate. So that's what we talk about here in the clip. What, uh, what fungicides do you have on hand right now? The, the only thing I have is the, the Heritage Granular. I just put an order in today for Oxy and propozano I can't say the word. Propozano Propoconazole. Yeah. We know what and, you mean. Um, Just say probe. Hopefully that probe. So hopefully that comes in time uh, before this gets way out of whack. Back to, so we've got Heritage coming, or excuse me, Azoxy coming. No, I already, uh, I, yeah. Both oh, Azoxy and probe are coming. Yeah. Okay, so Azoxy and probe are coming. Okay, so if that's the case, um, couple of things here so I would be uh, very wary of uh, throwing down a bunch of propoconazole let's check your weather just in general here Philadelphia weather I know you're not in Philadelphia don't no he's Close got he's, 15 minutes away he's got high 80s and 90s coming Ooh, yeah Monday Tuesday gonna be nice not, not gonna be too bad you know um, you know, I would skate through the weekend. It's you know, and and probably just let things dry out a little bit. Looks like you might have some rain Monday, some cooler temperatures Tuesday. So, I wouldn't be remiss to uh, to throw down a rate of uh, is that the two SC formulation on the uh, Azoxy? I assume. I believe it is. What he ordered. Yeah. He sent me the screenshot yeah. of it. Yeah. So, yeah. so go ahead. That which should be zero point seven seven fluid ounces per thousand. And then go ahead and follow yeah, the high rate, in, yep. in the same tank with just one, one fluid ounce of the propoconazole. I think that will be A-OK -okay with what you have coming up don't, as long so, as you apply it Tuesday. So don't, or maybe don't, do a, don't do the high rate of two then. No, no, you don't need to do that. You don't oh, yeah, please don't. Please you don't. don't. Do that. <laughs> okay. So as you can see there in that clip, we talked about the rates that I should be throwing the stuff down. I actually, again, got the stuff from DoMyOwn.com. Super fast shipping. It got here super quick, so I was able to get it down. Again, here is the propoconazole. I wrote right on here. I wrote with a Sharpie, one to two ounces per 1,000. Like they like they suggested, I did the one ounce per 1,000. And then over here, we have the azoxystrobin. And again, I have the low rate on here of 0 0.38. And then the high rate is actually 0 0.77. So that's what they suggest to me throw down or spray out 0.77 ounces per 1,000. So a quick video for you guys today. I always love showing the good, the bad, and the ugly with my channel because honestly, no one's perfect out there. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. My lawn's not perfect, but I strive for it to be as best as I can. And I learned a really important lesson this year 
with the fungicides and what I should be doing. So like they said, after 14 days, let's see what the lawn looks. It's actually almost 14 days now and the lawn looks really great. Uh, obviously it had to grow out again. It had to grow out of its disease and um, you know, grow out of what was there. So it's been, it's getting there. It's starting to really green up again. I can see that color coming back again. And when I get down in the grass again, it looks really great. I'll show you a picture here, but I'm just happy to have professionals out there. Like I said, those guys are professionals. They are, they went to university for turf grass management. Uh, and Lushy, who was on that night, he's, he is a professional too. He has his own professional spray business and he's been super helpful uh, for me reaching out to him as well. Like I said, I reach out to Ryan a lot. And again, if you have any questions, go check out their live show. They're, they're having a lot more live shows right now in the summertime to help out people. And again, it's every Thursday, nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Go check them out. I hope to be on again in December or maybe sometime in the fall time like I was last year on the Thirsty Thursday and show them and show everybody at home and document my journey like I did last year when I was on the show and talk about you know the pros and some of the cons of what I was doing this year and seeing what else they can help me out with for next year. If you enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you have any questions or concerns on today's video, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Man, it is hot as out here today.